हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज वीडियो इज गोन बी अ फन वन वेर एन आई एम गोन बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेशनल ट्री ऑफ इंडिया विच इज़ अ फाइकस ऑड्री और फाइकस बेंगलेंसिस सो यू कैन सी राइट हेयर आई हैव माई फाइकस ऑड्री विद मी बट देर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी टू हाउ एग्जैक्टली आई मैनेज टू फाइंड दिस वन सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू ऑन एन एडवेंचर वेर एन आई सेल्वेज फॉर दिस प्लान विद द हेल्प ऑफ माई फैमिली एंड finally got one ficus in my collection and went about potting it so here's how i did it this is a huge gulmohar tree growing near my house and you can see the ficus audrey growing up there on this tree so my plan was to get this ficus audrey down and plant it into a pot With the help of my dad, I got the ficus audrey out of the tree. Actually, my dad did most of it. I was just standing there. I tried climbing up the tree, but wasn't successful. This is what we got after we removed this plant from the gulmohar tree. I prefer soil propagating hard stem plants rather than water propagating it because I find that personally soil propagation works better for me for hard stem ones. So I made many cuttings out of this one and potted it up into various pots. I put some soil at the bottom of the pot and then I placed the ficus which had a cluster of roots in it and then secured it with more soil. This is a plant which requires the soil to be consistently moist and not wet. If you're keeping this in your homes, it's better to keep it in an east facing window which gets morning indirect bright light or you can also keep it under a canopy of trees where it gets indirect light here's how my ficus audrey looks once it's potted up the rest of the cuttings i potted them into small pots and left them for propagation let me tell you a few care tips of how exactly you can care for your ficus audrey so ficus audrey is a plant which is mostly found on the in areas where there is indirect sunlight that is i found this one growing on a gulmohar tree so you can imagine it requires indirect sunlight and also prefers its soil to be consistently moist so when and whenever this plant grows huge it provides shade to a lot of more flora and fauna i hope you enjoyed watching this video and do let me know in the comments below what you think of videos like this Also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press on the bell icon for the notifications. If you enjoyed watching it give me a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye bye.